there I know So do something you love before you go Jump in the water One last hurrah Stay close to those who make you who you are Life will surely pass us by Storms and floods come like the tide I'm ready to go my friend so climb aboard Stay with me we'll hit the water Miami to the Bahamas Who knows where this boat will take us friends, Salem Malai here again. Um, been down at the boat this week, uh, done some good sailing. Got a couple of good sails in. I what, didn't intend on getting anything in. I was by myself <clears throat> doing a little work on the boat. But um, yeah, I had a couple of issues with the plastic on the companionway inserts and uh, came back started um, uh, two new inserts out of a uh, quarter inch uh, marine plywood. And so I got them epoxied up and uh, sanded and I uh, started painting <clears throat> on those. And uh, another issue I ran into <clears throat> is where I put my iPad for navigation when we're sail in certain directions so the sun behind us it gets too much sun on it and it'll, it'll shut it down so I gotta move it so my idea was I came home made a couple little blocks I'm gonna bolt them to the top underneath the uh, hard top and drop it down from there and that way it'll be shaded no matter which direction we're heading uh, so I shouldn't have a problem with that anymore so, um, but anyways, I was uh, working on the boat and it was stinking hot, man. It was so hot down there. Um, and it got to the point one day uh, that I, I was just kind of sitting on the boat, hiding from the sun. And uh, uh, I met a, a young fella down there named Gareth. Shout out to Gareth, he helped me out. He came by, he's got a 27 foot minor hull. He was leaving out and he said, hey, wanna go with me? It's cooler on the water. I said, heck yeah. So I hopped on with him and we went sailing on his boat. Awesome setup. He's got that thing down pat where he can single hand that thing with no problem whatsoever. And it, it, was, it was fun. It was really fun going out with him. Uh, we sailed around there for a couple of hours and came back. Got back to the boat and I started working a little bit more. And uh, anyways, I got some more ideas. The next day though, I got with Gareth and we went out on my boat, which the wind was much stronger that day. I didn't realize it in the marina there, but once we got out in open water, it's white caps, probably 17, 18 knots, plus 30 knot gust. And, uh, <clears throat> so it's a little bit stiff. And uh, <clears throat> me having <clears throat> not much experience on catamarans and the lightweight of the warm, uh, we 
decided just to put the jib up. So we, we went out and sailed with just the jib. And we end, we ended up, I think we got almost six knots out of it with just the jib. And then uh, once we got out there, uh, you know, catamarans don't like to attack with bow sails up. With just the jib up, it's almost impossible to get that thing to come around. So we started jibing. Works great. It works great. And uh, so we started jibing back and forth and practicing that a little bit. And he had some experience racing uh, catamarans back in the day. So he uh, had some ideas of how I could get this thing more user friendly and uh, be able to single hand easier than what I'm doing now, which is near impossible where I have my, my clutches and uh, stuff on the top of the cabins. You can't really hold on to the rudders and run up there to flip the clutch and pull uh, the jib around. So it, it'd be hard. I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but it'd be a, it'd be hard to do. And uh, so I'm probably gonna do some modifications there and get that uh, jib sheet lines back to the back where I can reach and uh, without getting out of the driver's seat. <laughs> and uh, whatever you wanna call that back there. And uh, <clears throat> that way you can still hang on to the, the tiller bar and reach your lines for your sheet. But uh, I, li I like some of his ideas were really good. He had a good uh, grasp on uh, catamarans and <clears throat> I'm sure that's not everything, but he gave me some really good ideas. So I'm probably gonna be making some modifications there and uh, get that where I can single hand this thing. Um, Cause it looks like uh, yeah, I'm gonna be single-handed a lot. <laughs> and uh, anyways, we're working, still working the bugs out of it. Still taking some short trips in it. And uh, y'all stay tuned and see how I go about this uh, uh, jib sheet line thing and, and get everything working. It ought to be fun. Uh, get back out there on the water and uh, do something you love.